Ooh, there we go. Not backlit anymore. I got that beautiful reflection off of the ocean. Good morning. Welcome back to LLVT. We are out here in beautiful Thailand, um, Phuket to be exact. And this morning it's about 7 a.m., right? Yeah. 7.20 and we are just grabbing a quick bite at the buffet because we are heading out to the PP Islands excursion. here at the marina it's my understanding that from here we're gonna hop on a speedboat and that's about an hour's ride to Pee, Pee Islands um, I suspect we have a number of speedboats because we've quite a huge group out here this morning but it's really cool one of the things that Lisa and I were just talking about when it comes to Club Bud, you get to meet such a really cool variety of people and it's so fun to just like talk to people from around the world and hear the stuff that they have to share. So we were actually sharing the van with a couple from Canada. Yeah, so our tour excursion, um, they actually provide us with uh, seasick or carsick motion sickness pills. So. It's nice to know that they have that for you and it's part of um, the, the price that you pay for the tour. They will give you some if you need it and they always ask you right before we uh, get onto the boat, they ask everybody to come over, whoever wants um, seasickness medicine to come and get it. I'm also seeing there is a spot right over here where everybody's picking up life jackets. We need to go and get fitted. We brought life jackets for Kaysen and Rowan. A lot of times when we do things like this, we've noticed that they don't have kid-sized life jackets, so we always try to make sure that we bring some for the boys when we go on these kind of trips. We're walking down to the boat. I need sunglasses. I didn't want to wear my nice sunglasses because they're my prescription ones, and I knew they would sink if they fell, so. Say hello, crew. Hello. We have a full boat, ladies and gentlemen. Hi. Hi. It's Jackie. It's me again. Where are we? At, at PP Island. After being on the boat for nearly an hour, we finally get to our first stop, Maya Bay. We were greeted with a sea of people. No pun intended. Maya Bay is one of the world's most famous locations in Thailand. Made famous by the beach starring Leonardo DiCaprio, millions of people, unsurprisingly, wanted to see it firsthand. The continuous and heavy interest from tourists caused the natural area to deteriorate and Maya Bay was shut down in 2018. Where are we at, guys? You see a fish? No. That right there is a true living wall. This wooden plank boardwalk you see here was actually built to prevent soil erosion caused by heavy foot traffic. I think everybody needs a snack. You guys hungry? You hungry, Boo Boo? Boom Yeah? This is really, really cool. Oh my goodness, there's a huge rooster. Look at the rooster. Oh my. Um, we are here at Maya Bay, and I don't recall us having done this part of the tour when we were here a few years back. So this looks like something new or something different, or perhaps they've renovated, I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, but there is a pathway that we're about to take out down to Maya Bay. So once everyone's done using the restroom, we're gonna walk over that way. Rowan, that was really sweet of you. And I'm really glad that you were gonna kill that mosquito, but it was on the other lady's egg leg. So that was nice of you not to hit her. This is absolutely breathtaking.
the entire beach is surrounded by tall limestone cliffs. Water as clear as turquoise and filled with baby sharks swimming all around. All right, so ladies, how does it feel to be here? I Lauren, just keep saying wow. Good, the water's so pretty. How many beaches like this do they have in None, Texas? Zero. zero, I've never seen one. Galveston's like this, sort of. <laughs> On a good day? Yeah. And then you can do a pop-up of Galveston. So, Lisa and I just decided to have a photo shoot out on the beach. And Rowan was taking an awful lot of pictures and videos, so we will see how they came out. Walking back to the boat to our next destination. Look at all the boats and all the tourists out here. It almost kind of ruins the experience to have so many other people out here, but I mean, I get it. It's an incredibly beautiful destination that everyone's going to want to come out and see. So we are waiting for our boat to come to pick us up right now. There's so many tourists and so many tour groups that are out here. You literally have to wait in line um, for them to pull your boat up and then to get on your boat. They are about to let us all jump off the front of the boat. Okay, you ready? Are you ready? One, two, ah! three, go! Oh, oh f so scary. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Very salty, isn't it? Very salty. I forget how salty the sea can be. Because I'm so used to, we've been in the pool all week. We haven't gone in the ocean yet. Jump, go. You are swimming? Yeah. I'm just a one jump kind of girl. After a much needed cooling down in these postcard-esque waters, we briefly stopped at Monkey Island and said our hellos. Oh my gosh! That was exciting, huh? That was pretty nice. <laughs> it's actually pretty awesome. Whoa! Like a shark. I think I got that on video. I got it. Maybe a little bit. Kolpipi, or Pipi Islands, are located in the Andaman Sea and is part of the Noparat. Tara Beach. Before we see the island, let's eat. So babe, where are we at right now? Tell her. I don't know the name of the restaurant, but basically it's the spot where they bring us all to have lunch. We sat in this very same restaurant three years ago and had almost the exact same meal. Hi. This time though, we're here to share all this delicious food with our best friends. Mm. Is it spicy? <laughs> What's it's in delicious, it? It's delicious, but it's really spicy. You <laughs> would not lie. <laughs> it's spicy. It tastes like fried chicken, just regular fried chicken with a lot of salt and pepper. It's pretty spicy, but the sauce kind of soaks it up, you know? It's really good. Good job. Thank you. All right, what you getting, Ben? Uh, I already got my veggies. It's kind of like Kong. So this is kind of, how do you describe family this style. with a family style? Yeah, family style meal that's placed on a Lazy Susan. They've got about one, two, three, four, five, six different dishes for us to choose from. And everybody's just digging in. Kids are hungry, I gotta go and fed. Yeah. What's your name? M. Ron. M. Ron. Hey, Ron. Nice to meet you. Are you going to eat, come eat lunch with us right now? Or? Thank you. Later. Are you ready? I'm ready. You come join us. Okay, thank you very Let's much. Let's do it. You, you first, you first. Thank you. Okay, you're According to the internet gurus, the months with the least number of tourists are between April and October. So if you're like us and get anxiety over crowded areas, I recommend visiting during the off season. It's hectic over here right now. It's giving me a lot of anxiety. There's a lot going on. I think there's people coming off of boats. 
there's luggage carriers because there's hotels here on this part of the island and it is just really, really busy. Phoebe Island also features a lively maze of shops, bars, and restaurants. So when we were here back in 2019, um, I remember the street being just as crowded actually as it is now. And there's a lot of foreigners, a lot of people traveling. Um, you see a lot of people with their suitcases and stuff as we're walking through. It's just busy. It's very, very busy. The waters surrounding the island are filled with exotic marine life. This place is definitely a hot spot for snorkeling and diving. This is Jackie. He works at Club Med Phuket. Yes. And we were actually fortunate enough to get Jackie again because he helped us back in 2019. Yes, you yes, were in yes. Kids Club. Yes. Yes. So you got to take care of Kason and Rowan when they were yes, little. Yes. Time. I'm from Thailand. Okay. From the north of Thailand, Chiang Mai. So I moved here. I start Club Med 2018. If you guys come visit, uh, come visit Club Med somewhere. Oh yes. Look, look for, for Jackie. Jackie. But you want to yes. do a shout out to your family, shout friends, out to your family or friends? Say hi to my mom. Yeah. But she doesn't really spend time with uh, YouTube or something. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> say hi to my friend as well. Yes. Jackie. Thanks, Jackie. Thank Thanks you, Jackie. for the time. Jackie. Thank you so much. Sorry. It legit feels like it's the hottest part of the day right now. I am sweating. I need to get back in the water. Before hopping over to the next island, we go for a quick swim and burn off our lunch. We just were out in the open ocean and everybody was snorkeling and seeing all kinds of amazing crazy things under the water. I get really weirded out when I put my head under the water so I just kind of floated up top, hung out, enjoyed the view, watching and hearing all about the fish swimming underneath me. Uh, we are out here at Bamboo Island. It is our last island stop of the day. They gave us an hour to just play in the water, chill out, and relax. While there were a lot of people at this beach, it didn't seem as crowded because of the expansive shoreline. This day was long, hot, and crowded. We are extremely tired. But seeing the white sand, the limestone cliffs, and the amazingly blue waters is breathtaking. So that's it for us. I do want to remind everybody, although Club Med is an all-inclusive resort. Things like that excursion that we just did today, they do cost extra. Um, but what's included in that is obviously all of your car ride back and forth, the boat ride, your food, um, your guide for the day, and they take care of any national park fees that are required and things like that. So it's, it's easy, it's simple, it's convenient, and it's totally worth it. Salamat, and you got till next time. I'm your dad with baseball. Look at this. smushing bugs. Um, I have to step on a cockroach. Oh, look at oh, that. Don't show them. Ah. Land it. Just land it. Land it. Please stop. Yo. Yay. Yeah, going home. Sorry, there's like ants crawling around over here fighting over who gets to be closest to Landon. So Landon's a celebrity. Landon! <laughs> you got a following. I do? Loyal following. Yeah, these two. Yeah. These mosquitoes here are like as big as these crabs. They're humongous. We're all... 
Oi. Rowan's trying to save me. He's smashing all the mosquitoes that are getting close to me. Oh, jeez. Are my abs popping yet? Yep, go. All right. Hold on. Remember, body by bear. Sorry, stop. I'm stressing out right now. <laughs>